Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I had this really just urge to mix some lipsticks together. So I have all of my Fenty Lip Stunners. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, I have seven. One of them's the black one though, so I don't know if that would be a good mixing lipstick. But I've got three pairs of lipsticks I want to mix together and see just how they turn out. I have a large lipstick collection and I don't use it enough, so I'm trying to get a little bit more creative to get more use out of it. I originally saw this idea from Porcelain. She did a whole series on her channel about mixing together different Jeffree Star lipsticks, and I thought that was such a good idea if you had a big lipstick collection. So I'm going to mix together some of my Fenty Lip Stunners. So the ones that I really want to mix together are these two. This is the Light Nude, which is the shade Unbutton, and this is the Deep Nude or Brown, and this is the shade Unveil. I really want to mix those two together. The next two I want to mix are some of the bright ones. This is the Orange and the Pink, so these are Unattached and Unlocked. And finally, I want to mix together the mauve kind of shade and the red shade. So the red is uncensored and the mauve is uncuffed. So let's see, I think I'm still getting ready for work, as I am wont to do. So I think I'm going to save the more neutrally one for last, because I might just keep that on and wear it to work today. And let's start with the brightest ones. So I have a candle lid from Bath & Body Works. I got this idea from the Taylor that is honestly an awesome idea because if you've ever mixed foundation on the back of your hand and then forgot it was there and then like gone to work, I've had, <laughs> I've had a couple of stories about that. So just having a palette is actually very helpful, especially when you're trying to mix things that also aren't foundation. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of each of these lipsticks onto the palette. So just like that. And I have a couple of lip-ish brushes. <laughs> So I'm going to be using those to apply it. So let's mix these. Okay, so this is our first combination. It does look just like a little bit more mellowed out version of the pink. Pink definitely overtook this combination here, but... It's still very pretty. It looks almost like a, uh, just a slightly more pink version of, like, the hot red shade. It's cute. Oh, god, I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but I'm, like, sweating really bad on my upper lip already. Jesus. Fun part of being in an attic during the summer months. Let's move on to our next combination. Alright, so here we have the next two shades. <laughs> our second combination looking a bit similar to the first one i think the red definitely took over here but it is just a little bit subdued due to the mauve color it's still very pretty but i thought it'd be just a little bit deeper maybe have a different undertone because of the mauve hmm. and now on to our final combination so here's our last two colors Here is our last combination. I actually really like how this color came out. It's a little bit deeper than I thought it would be, so maybe next time I do this, I'll mix a little bit more of this lighter color in. But I like it. It's like the perfect, like, deep warm nude. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Let me know if there's any other combination of these Fenty Lip Stunners you want to see me mix for a future video. And if you want to see me try to mix it with the black, I really don't think anything would come out of that, but it could be fun. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.